Disunity in Christ is a thought-provoking Christian nonfiction book authored by Christina Cleveland, an American social psychologist with expertise in sociology and theology. Published in 2013, the book delves into the hidden forces that have led to divisions and conflicts among modern Christians. Cleveland skillfully examines the fault lines that have caused factionalism and infighting within the Christian community over the past two millennia. Drawing on her interdisciplinary background, the author sheds light on the various factors that contribute to disunity among Christians today. These divisions encompass age, demographics, politics, socioeconomic status, and ethnicity, sometimes intertwining all five aspects. Unfortunately, these trends contradict Jesus' prayer for unity among his followers. While recognizing that historical divisions have persisted for centuries, Cleveland employs modern sociological language to discuss these issues. She identifies two significant trends responsible for exacerbating these divisions. First is group polarization, where members of insulated groups reinforce each other's beliefs and behaviors, making it challenging to accept alternative perspectives. Second is outgroup homogeneity, wherein members of insulated groups come to view outsiders as a monolithic entity, enabling negative tendencies and promoting demonization of those outside their group. Cleveland points out that much of this behavior strays from living according to Jesus' teachings and instead serves to bolster fragile egos by diminishing others. This behavior becomes particularly problematic in situations where power differentials are at play. For instance, high-status Christians may look down on lower-status Christians without acknowledging the privilege and power that contribute to their status. Disunity in Christ provides a critical examination of the forces that drive divisions within the Christian community and calls for a recommitment to the values of unity and empathy that Jesus espoused. The belief that wealth is a result of one's efforts and not a gift from God can lead wealthy individuals to view others' misfortune as the consequence of their poor choices rather than circumstances beyond their control. Christina Cleveland highlights how even small differences between groups of Christians can be magnified due to egotism, leading each group to believe they are special or superior. Language choices also play a role in causing disunity, and Cleveland emphasizes that these tendencies are deeply ingrained through years of social conditioning. Overcoming these habits requires diligent effort to recognize blind spots and confront internalized fears that may remain unnoticed. One of the book's strengths lies in Cleveland's non-judgmental approach. Having experienced and been affected by the behavior she criticizes, she offers readers a chance to reflect without feeling attacked. This approach keeps readers open to changing their behaviors and thought processes. In an interview, Cleveland acknowledges that the Gospels have been her most significant influence. Examining Jesus' actions reveals a consistent cross-cultural theme in his life from the incarnation to his relationships with diverse individuals, and his ability to communicate in a way that affirmed various cultures. The essence of Jesus' teachings and actions serves as a guide for promoting unity and understanding among people from different backgrounds. Through a deep examination of the Gospels, I have come to understand that a vital aspect of following Jesus is the genuine concern and care for people whose experiences, cultural backgrounds, and challenges differ greatly from my own. While disunity in Christ specifically addresses Christians, its themes of group reconciliation hold immense value for all readers, particularly in the midst of this highly divisive moment in history. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.